Hello friends, welcome. Let us start a new topic, Basics of Game Theory. When the decision making environment is of under the competitive situation and the situation is of pure strategy, we can use minimax and maximum principle, that is saddle point principle for the purpose of decision making. In this lecture we are going to discuss some basic points about the game theory. When there are two or more competitors who doesn't know anything about the competitor's strategy, game theory is a very useful tool for decision making. In this category, the basics of game theory, we are going to discuss a few points about two person zero sum game. Two person that means there are only two competitors or two players of the game. Say A and B. And zero sum game means the gain of one player is equal to the loss of the another player. That means A's gain is exactly equal to B's loss. Hence the sum of the game, expected value of the game comes to zero. That is possible. This is called the payoff matrix. Now the question is what is payoff? Payoff is the quantitative measure of gain or satisfaction of a player or a competitor. It is a competitive, or so rather quantitative measure of the satisfaction or gain or loss of the players. As we said earlier, one player's gain becomes another player's loss or one player's loss becomes another player's gain. The sum of gain can be zero. So this is known as zero sum gain. This payoff matrix is written as point of view. That means as a statistician or as a consultant, say assume that A is our client, B is the competitor. So we are going to make decisions for A. B is the opposite party or the competitor. Now, how to make decisions? But first of all, let us discuss some important points about the two person zero sum game. First is maximum value. Now in this matrix, these are the strategies of player A. That means for whom we are going to make all these analysis, these are the strategies for player B or the competitor of A. If we read this matrix in the form of row, these are the say outcomes of various strategies of A. Say if A selects strategy A1, the payoffs are A11, A12 and so on. If a selects strategy A2, the payoffs are A21, A22 and so on. On the other hand, if B selects strategy B1, the payoffs are A11, A21, AM1. But they are numerically exactly opposite to A's payoff. That means if A11 is gain for A, that is loss for B. Similarly, if a21 is gain for A that is loss for B and so on. All the payoffs can be interpreted in this way. Now as a student what we need to do with this type of payoff? First of all let me clear that these are only the basic points of the game theory. Otherwise game theory is a very wide topic. But we are going to discuss only these number of topics as of now. 
if we have this type of payoff matrix as a student what we need to do with this type of matrix first we have to determine the maximum value what is maximum value for that purpose we have to select the minimum value from all rows that means for player a consider all strategies and find out the lowest payoff of each and every strategy and list out them in this matrix this column so this column represents row minimum out of this minimum values of each and every strategy of a find out the maximum value that value is maximum out of the minimum that's why in short form it is known as maximum value similarly now opponent's point of view find out the maximum values from all the columns find out the maximum values from each column and write in this row now find out the maximum value out of these sorry minimum value out of these maximum values first find out the maximum value from each column that means each of b strategy and then find out the minimum out of them in short form it is called minimax minimum of the maximum it is called minimax value now check if maximum and minimax values are same that automatically becomes the value of game if minimax equals to maximum that is value of game but in the case where minimax and maximum are not equal then maximum value is considered as value of game because the entire payoff matrix is as point of view or the player whose strategies are expressed in the form of row is the player in the center and that player's point of view the game is considered that's why the maximum value is taken as value of game in the case where maximum and minimax values are not equal now another thing is what is the saddle point saddle point is a geographical location in the payoff matrix if maximum and minimax values are the same the geographical location of that particular payoff is known as saddle point the another question is what are the optimal strategies of the two players the answer is the strategy for player a which gives the maximum value is the optimal strategy similarly the strategy for b which gives the minimax value is the optimal strategy another question is is the game fair this type of game can be said a fair game only if maximum value equals to minimax value equals to game of fair equals to zero that means all the three minimax maximum and value of game are zero then only we can say that the game is fair and the last question is is the game strictly determinable is the game strictly determinable the answer is the game can be said strictly determinable only if maximum value equals to minimax value equals to the value of game so these are the points which we should study when we are going to say learn about basics of game theory that is two person zero sum game thank you very much